Hi everyone, we're going to design a microstrip patent in CST 2020 version. In order to do that, just open the CST and launch this um, window and select the antennas and uh, select planner and select time domain as the solver. We're going to define the minimum frequency as 2.2 GHz and maximum as 2.6 GHz. Sorry, it should be 6. And we're going to define the electric field monitor at 2.4 GHz. In order to see the surface current, you need a magnetic field monitor, H field. And we also need to see the radiation pattern. And that's why I have enabled this far field. Firstly, just turn on the local coordinate system, UVW, and then hide this bounding box. Let's define the substrate first. Your minimum is the length. So along the V axis, we're going to define the width of the service rate. And uh, along the W axis, we're going to define the thickness of the service rate. The material is FR4. So this is the one, the epsilon, which is the permittivity, which is 4.3. Now let's define the parameter for the substrate. SL is the length, which is 59 millimeter. SW is the width, which is 76 millimeter. And SH is the thickness of the substrate, 1.5 millimeter. Now let's draw the ground plane. In order to do that, you have to transfer this coordinate system below this substrate. And uh, it's very easy to do that. Just simply go to transform and translate it along the W axis. All right, there you go. Now let's draw the ground plane. And the dimension should be exactly what the substrate has. All right. So by two. So by two. Step by two. This metal layer thickness, which is MT. And I'm going to select copper from the material library, all right? So MT is the metal thickness, 0 0.035 millimeter. So this is our ground plane. Now let's draw the patch. Now again, bring the coordinate system on top of the substrate. In order to do that, go to pick face and align the WCS with selected face. Now uh, let's define the patch. Along the U-axis, let's define the length of the patch, PL. Along the V-axis, let's define the width, PW. By two. And let's define the metal thickness, MT. It should be copper. So the PL, which is the length, um, it's 29.5 millimeter. PW is 38 millimeter. Now let's draw the microstrip line. So firstly, you can transfer the local coordinate system from the center to 
this age of this uh, patch. So let's transfer it there. Along the U axis, you have to transfer PL by 2. All right. Oh, sorry. I think I have written it mistakenly. All right. Now, there you go. Now, let's draw the pad, uh, microstrip. Along the U axis, this is the length of this microstrip line. Um, so um, along the negative U axis, we don't have any length. So I am keeping it as zero. So all the length is along positive U axis, which is U max. So let's define it as uh, ML. Um, all right. So. The v-axis denotes the width of the microstrip line. Same so double by two, double by two. And along the w-axis is the metal thickness, mt. And the material should be copper because it's a metal, metal layer. Now let's define ml. So what's the length of this microstrip line? It's very simple to determine. It's the um, the quantity when we subtract the half of the sub substrate from uh, the half of the patch length. Then you get this rest of the length as the microstrip line. So it's very easy. It's L by two minus PL by two. So that would give you the length of this microstrip line, right? And the width of this microstrip line is 2.86 millimeter. It's a 50 ohm. Sorry, you don't have to write mm. It's already there. So it's a 50 ohm microstrip line. So you have to calculate the width based on that impedance. All right. So we got everything except the inset for the impedance match in order to uh, find out the inset, um, you can use any software or you can use trial and error method. <clears throat> so let's uh, transfer the coordinate system on this point first. Um, so this is along the V axis. Double by two. All right. So this is our first inset, inset one. Um, e minimum is actually zero. Sorry, no, this is the length of the inset. So it should be I N L and uh, along the U, U maximum, it should be zero because it has no length along the positive V axis. And along the negative V, it doesn't have any anything all the width is along the positive V axis, which is V max. So I'm defining as a I N W. And this is your metal thickness MT. And the material should be vacuum. All right. So I N L is the length of this inset, which is nine millimeter. And the width of the inset is 70 four millimeter. Oh, sorry. So I did some um, mistake because uh, the length, <laughs> I did mistake. The length is actually along the negative U axis, right? It's all about negative. So you have to place a negative sign. Just a silly mistake. All right. Now it's fine. Remember one thing, whatever you are uh, entering in the minimum or this negative axis, you should always indicate with a negative sign. All right. Let's just say um, cut away the highlighted shape because we need to have this cutting. All right. Now, this was our first inset 
in order to do the second inset just transfer it to this point so let's transfer it to negative mw and repeat the same steps so this is our inset 2 your minimum is uh, same INL and should be zero INW MT vacuum cut away all right so this is our um, three-dimensional model for the antenna and the last one is to define a port a port is a place where the electrical signal is provided in order to excite this antenna. So in order to define a port, select pick face and select this face and then go to home and select macros, solver and ports and calculate port extension coefficient so from here um, just calculate so k is 5.62 and this is the dimension of the port waveguide port you can say that k is uh, sorry the size of the port should be um, according to this figure so um, we know the k is 5.62 let's define a new parameter here as k and the value is 5.62 now go to model sorry simulation and then select waveguide port now say k multiplied by sh which is the thickness of the substrate so just copy and paste it here paste it here and here is only sh all right you can see the preview all right so this is the size of the port all right now everything is done uh, you can see the bonding box all right now we are ready to simulate this structure. Just simply save it first. Let's set patch antenna. Save. All right, now let's run the simulation. Go to um, setup solver, select normalize to fixed impedance 50 ohm and also select adaptive mesh refinement as well uh, it should make your mesh very fine but it would also take a lot of time in simulation and press the start button now All right, so the simulation is complete. So you can see the results from this navigation tree folders. In order to see this one one, you can see this is these are the two passes. Uh, but this is the final one. So the resonance frequency is. Um, let's say 2.3 7 gigahertz so almost um 2.38 gigahertz and the s11 is very very low minus 45 db is very very good so you can see the bandwidth can be determined from this plot um you can easily Let's see. This is the line of minus 10 dB which crosses this um, plot. So it's around 
2.41 gigahertz and the lowest point is 2.34 so the bandwidth is 2.34 to 2.41 all right go to 2.4 gig so this is the directivity 6.9 dbi so the red color represents the maximum amount of radiation which is at the top of the patch right you can even uh, see the structures so this is your structure if you can see the transparent for field so now you can see right the radiation is maximum at the top 